What's up guys, this is Rajo. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video I'm going to be doing unboxing of a couple of accessories I picked up from my Steam Deck. First of all, we have here, this is a JJ10 micro SD card holder. And you can write on the back in pencil what your particular cards are. I only have one card, a 512 gigabyte one, which I'll take out of my Steam Deck. As you can see, you just slide it in like so, and then you just label what it is. Right now, I have AAA games and retro games on this SD card. I plan on getting a one terabyte and using that solely for AAA games and the 512 for the retro gaming emulation. Next, I have a if I pronounce this right, this is a AM film tempered glass protector. This is a three pack, which I'm going to be applying in this video. This is a silicone case from Ben Benna's cap for the Steam Deck, and from JSOX, this is their protective case with a kickstand. So each of these I will open up in a show you how it looks so first let's start with the screen protector so now with this you have screen protector installation accessories this is probably going to be the alcohol the microfiber cloth what have you and let's see you have three tempered glass protectors and that's it so get that out the way Let's see what this looks like. All right, so we got this screen protector, tempered glass, and let's open up this little pouch here and see what we got. Okay, inside the pouch, like I thought, a little microfiber cloth, installation guide, wash your hands, uh, clean device screen, use it, include a cleaning wipe, to clean the entire screen, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you probably have like an alcohol swap. Okay, here we go. So step one, you got a wet wipe. And step two, you got the dry wipe. I and mean, three of them since it's a three pack. And then you're probably, these are the, to get the lint or any dust uh, stickers. Okay, and that's it. So let's see. Got the tabs. All right, we'll go step by step. Bring the Steam Deck back into view here. So we got step one: you wash your hands. My hands are clean already. Clean your device. Steam Deck, but I'm going to use this first, I'm going to use this, okay, let's look closer, and just this light, so it's not blinding anyone here, okay. Screen. Okay, get that nice and wet there. Next, the dry wipe. lint okay go over it again with the microfiber cloth all right that looks pretty clean 
Okay. And next we have the tempered glass itself. So it says step one, remove mask film attached to this tab. So let's see, we remove that. Pull that off and show that the adhesive side of the screen protector is facing down. Carefully hold the two tabs on either side of the screen protector and place it on the device. Okay, so this would be take this off and then just place it lining up with the screen like so. That looks pretty good. See, it's applied there. And take off that. And that's just about right. And adjust it slightly. Like that. All right, that's good. Nice. All right, now just gently glide your finger, top to bottom, get the air bubbles out. As you can see here, I still have a couple of air bubbles, but it's not that bad. And push it to the side. looks pretty good for the first try doing it still got a little bubble here but it doesn't look like on the screen part right here. and there you have it so it's just a little bubble here but I'm sure if I keep pressing it'll come out let's turn on the screen and see what it looks like Okay, so this little thing here, let me see what the light, this should go away. Keep pressing it, but it's not affecting the viewable uh, screen real estate here. So this is like on the border on the outside the bezel area. So this is fine. All right, so this is, this is cool. Let me show you. Okay, next we're going to move on to the silicone case from Venice Cap. this out all right so as you can see here it's just a straight it's got the uh, little uh, knurled kind of uh, textured grip this has a texture already it's kind of smooth but it's not uh, super smooth it's got a little bit of a grip to it nothing like this this is uh nice and it's got a looks like all the cutouts for ventilation or what have you micro sd card slot cutout and all that stuff so let's put this on and see what it looks like case out of the way and you should be able to just slide this in like so let's see Now let's get the left side in. And it's silicone, so it'll stretch. So you shouldn't have to worry about it ripping. So we kind of manhandle it a little to get it on. And okay. And make sure that everything's lined up.
And okay. So there we have it. So this is nice. I'll give you a little once around as you can see the L1, L2, R1, R2 are free to move. You have your volume buttons accessible, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, the vent, your USB type C charging, the LED for when you're charging it, your power button, your thumbsticks, your D-pad, everything's accessible, the track pads, your steam button, your menu button here. Uh, yeah. But action buttons, the menu, this other button here, the speakers not being blocked. Like I said, the micro SD card slot is open. And on the back, your L4, L5, R4, R5 back buttons are accessible. Like I said before, the ventilation here, that's not being blocked. And it's also textured on the back here, as you can see. So this is nice. I mean, it's not a hard case. It's real simple. This was, uh, let's see, this was $16.99 at the time of me filming this video. Uh, so it's not too expensive. The screen tempered uh, screen protector is $8.09 for the three pack. And the 10 slot micro SD card case holder was $6.99. So this is pretty cool. So this is, uh, you know, not gonna break your bank, but this is practical. And it feels good in the hand holding it. So this is, this is good. This is a thumbs up. This will work. It'll protect it from little falls. If it, hopefully you don't drop it, but and getting scuffed up, coupled with the tempered glass screen protector I just put on, you should be good to go. Let's see if it'll fit into the Steam Deck case. It's a little snug. It'll close up, but I can already feel it's, it's tight. But even with this little case, silicone case on, it can go into the original Steam Deck case, so rest assured, you'll still be able to use it. I ordered another case, which will come in a couple of days, which I'll do a little review unboxing on. That's supposed to be a little bigger than the original case to hold some accessories and stuff. Also ordered a JSUX um, dock with HDMI output and three USB 3.0 ports which I should get in a couple days as well so I'll do a video on that once that arrives so next we're going to move on to the JSOX hard case with the kickstand now we move on to the JSOX hard case and it's not super hard but it's a lot stiffer than the silicone case I just uh, showed you so I'm going to give you a quick overview of this. Looks like it's clear plastic in the back. Uh, it just hugs around the outer edges of the Steam Deck. And similar to the other one, you have an open port for your micro SD card. Cut out for your volume up and down. Your 3.5 millimeter jack, ventilation, and the kickstand looks like it's right here. That should be very cool. So let's put this on. And I believe you could just slide it in like so. And from the top part, and just lift up. Boom. And it's on. Oh, and this has a nice texture too. You know, it's hard. It's a little rougher than the original uh, surface of the uh, Steam Deck. Like I said, Steam Deck itself has a little texture to it, but this is a little rougher. Oh, this is nice too. I mean, you don't have any protection over here with your thumb pad and all of that, but you have the, or I, at least I have the tempered glass screen protector on there. So I'm not too worried about the screen itself. And like I said, you have the cutouts 
for all of this. Ventilation, charging, hitting the power button. It just hugs around the outer part of the Steam Deck, so these are still accessible. L1, L2, R1, R2. Turn around to the back. You have this portion, like I said, it's clear plastic. Cut out for your ventilation, which is good. Your R4, R5, L4, L5 are accessible. And you have the kickstand, which the other case didn't have. And this is cool. So. So you see my games here on the deck. All the buttons are easily accessible. Only thing is the power button, but you won't accidentally turn it off. It's little it's recessed quite a bit, so you really have to use your pinky or to turn it off. So that's cool. And it gives you a little added more protection as far as the edges are concerned with a fall. You have a screen protector on there, so I'm not worried about the screen too much. But you have the added bonus of a kickstand, which is nice. So if you're gonna be playing till I get the dock, this will suffice for me uh, demonstrating some games uh, so I can film and have it right there and play with it like so so that is definitely cool so this gets two thumbs up i like this and let's do a test and see if it'll fit i'm not sure so into the original steam deck case all right let's see now this is even bulkier fits but it's tight but that's cool for now It'll still fit inside of there, so I'm happy about that. So I can rock either one of those cases that I've just shown you. And know that my Steam Deck is being protected with the screen protector and one of the two cases I've just shown you. So that'll end this video. I hope you found this uh, useful. If you did, Smash that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell notification so you're notified when I put out a new video. The next video I'm going to do on the Steam Deck, as I said before, will be on this game here. Midnight Fight Express. Now that I have the kickstand, I can play it. And then film like that. So it'll be pretty cool. So that'll be the next video on the channel. So stay tuned for that. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have the Steam Deck, if you're waiting for the Steam Deck. If so, what accessories do you have? Do you have some of these that I've just shown you? If you have something else that you think would be cool, leave a comment down below. Leave a link. Let me know. Let's talk about what kind of protection you're using for your Steam Deck. What type of case, screen protectors, cases. Like I said, I got another case on the way and that'll be another video soon. As soon as I get it in a couple days. And also a video on the dock. If you have docks out there, let me know what you have. And I will see everyone in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.